metaphors. There's so many things in that Bible, it, and especially if you're at Usha, it's so funny because Usha's been going through the Bible, and she's been sharing with me, and she helps me to understand that old uh, thought process because she was raised in India, and she says, oh yeah, she, she understood the priest and the bridegroom because the priests wore the headgear. Our, our, our bridegrooms don't wear headrooms, headgear, generally speaking. Right, Usha? And she says, oh yeah, we did that, we did that, we did that. So a lot of it in the Bible is talking historically and written at a time where they understood what was going on. We 20th century people, 21st century people who live in Miami, we don't have a clue. We are a whole different world, but we can learn about it. And we can, because the, the Bible is good for today, too. Yesterday, today, tomorrow, and beforehand. All right, move forward. The greatest tragedy is to think we're covered when we're not. Ladies, as I leave you today, I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you to walk out of here fully clothed in the Spirit of God. And I would love the honor to be able to pray for you so that you would know that he who has begun a good work yes. in you yes. will bring it to completion until the day of Jesus Christ Jesus. Jesus is coming back. But I can tell you, you can be confident in this. Confident. God's not going to let you go. Whatever you're going through, he is not going to let you go. And he will work in your life, and he will work in your life. And you'll see him work. And the more you open yourself up to seeing his work, keeping that posture of openness to him, you say, I get it. And yes, do we not, God? I'm constantly saying, God, I want that. I want this. The rebellious child that I am of God. And God just, in my heart, says, I know what's best for you for this time and for this season. Trust me, and I will care for you. I will keep you covered. And the only covering that we ever should be under is the cover that God has given us through Jesus Christ. Doesn't matter what your style is. Doesn't matter what we wear. One of the things I love about the vineyard, we can go extremes dress up, or we can come in shorts and a t-shirt. What does pastor say, as long as you're dressed? It doesn't matter. We're all different. We can all have fun in our external attire. We can all have fun together and enjoy the things that God has given us, the beauty of this world. But at the end of the day, just remember that we are clothed in his righteousness. Christ is the one that makes it happen in our lives. Please pray for me.